guys, it's Chloe with your Hollywood Life Says, and goodbye Bruce Jenner and hello Caitlyn Jenner. The July cover of Vanity Fair is officially here, and Caitlyn looks absolutely stunning. And actually, there is a behind the scenes video, two behind the scenes video from the Vanity Fair shoot shot by Annie Leibovitz, and we are gonna show you some of that later in this video. But first, Katrina, can you give us a little bit of background about this top secret photo shoot? So in this video, we see Caitlyn Jenner, formerly Bruce, and she actually discusses one of her biggest fears about getting all dressed up. I was always worried you never wanted to look like a guy in a dress. You really have to look the part. You have to look very feminine. And Kendall Jenner had the sweetest reaction. Coming from the cover girl herself, this was just perfect. She retweeted the video and she said, now that's a cover. And then she followed it up with this tweet, be free pretty bird. That is so sweet and actually all of his children and stepchildren have been really supportive, including who she claims who has been the most supportive, Kim Kardashian, who also tweeted how beautiful, be happy, be proud, live life your way. And thousands of people have actually retweeted that. And actually, Caitlyn Jenner has an official Twitter account that has over 2 million followers, might I add. But Katrina, not everybody has been so supportive, right? That's right. There were some insensitive remarks, specifically Drake Bell tweeted and deleted, sorry, still calling you Bruce. Timbaland posted something as well. But what was really interesting was in the Vanity Fair article, Caitlyn speaks out saying she felt that Kris Jenner was a little more harsh and intolerant of Bruce as the show went on and she got more money, but this situation is definitely hard for the entire family. You know, there's two sides to every story, and I think we can't be too hard on Kris Jenner here. After all, she was married to Bruce for 23 years. They had a life together, and she really seems to have felt left out of Bruce's feelings and his transition to Caitlyn, and she actually cried with him on the special about about Bruce that was on Keeping Up with the Kardashians. Now she's quoted in the Vanity Fair article saying that from her point of view, Bruce was very hard to live with in the last couple years of their marriage because he was so unhappy. And here's what else is really interesting. Caitlyn has revealed that she loved the name Caitlyn since the 80s and when she was first thinking of transitioning then, that was the name she wanted. But that was before she knew the Kardashians, so there's no K involved. So there are a lot of feelings going around, but what I can tell you is that at HollywoodLife.com, we fully support Caitlyn, and we are so excited to see what is to come in her next chapter. In the meantime, guys, click on us to subscribe and down below here on your mobile device and tell us, are you so impressed and proud of Caitlyn's courageous efforts to transition so publicly to the world? Bye, guys. Kim Kardashian and Kanye West are officially expecting baby number two and we've got all the details.